Hi, I'm Brett Premack, a.k.a. The Jazz Video Guy. This is an update. I'm going to be making some big changes here uh, in the next couple of weeks and months. The biggest change is, as I record this on Sunday, May 1st, at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, it turns out that two weeks from today, I will be arriving at this very moment, perhaps, in my new home, Guanajuato, Mexico. I'm about to become an expat. How will this change Jazz Video Guy? I don't know totally at this point. I know that uh, initially I'm going to have slow internet, so I probably won't do any live broadcasts initially, and uh, not sure about interviews. But I have loaded three and a half perhaps four months of videos uh, for you to check out, two or three videos a week, uh, May, June, July, August, that's four months. Some fantastic stuff coming up. Uh, I'm finishing uh, this edition of the Michael Brecker podcast. Uh, when I say this edition, I've done about 30 episodes and... Uh, I followed the format of interview and performance after that. I'm going to change that. I have uh, some ideas, tried to create something dynamic. Stanley Kubrick, one of my favorite filmmakers, once said that a film should be like music. And I want to try some things that I hope and perhaps will turn my films my videos into more musical experiences. Uh, it's going to take me a while to do that. So I suspect after the Bob Mincer uh, series, I've got three more to go there, and a couple other uh, podcasts, probably after 35 podcasts sometime in June, I will be off for a few months and resume that in September. As for... Uh, my voice is breaking here, perhaps because I'm returning to puberty. Uh, no, please, I, I couldn't take that again. Once is enough. Uh, let me tell, tell you about some of, the, some of the videos that are coming up. I'm still putting the exact schedule together here, but uh, I have uh, some really cool stuff uh, already uploaded, ready to go. Uh, I have uh, some videos that I found of Roy Hargrove's big band, Crisol, featuring Chucho Valdez. Uh, those will be coming up soon. Those are fantastic. Uh, I have uh, a Chick Corea trio performance from Norway uh, with uh, John Patitucci and Dave Weckl uh, that's going to start to air the different sections of. Who else is coming up here? Oscar Peterson, London, 1969 with Sam Jones and Bobby Durham. That was the uh, band that replaced the Ray Brown Ed Thigpen configuration. Uh, and then I've got somebody from Italy, a friend of mine from Italy, sent me a video, like a 90-minute video, of Cedar Walton uh, at one of the Italian jazz festivals in the 80s. An absolutely incredible set with Bobby Hutcherson on vibes, David Williams on bass, and Billy Higgins on drums. Uh, so I'm looking forward to, uh, to sharing that with you. Uh, I've also got more from Pharaoh Sanders and John Hicks. Uh, for me, that was one of the great groups, uh, sometimes with Walter Booker, sometimes with Curtis Lundy on bass, uh, Idris Muhammad, uh, sometimes as well on drums. Uh, Looking forward to sharing some of that with you. Also, uh, I found a couple of sets of Lou Donaldson, uh, one of my favorite alto players, Sweet Papa Lou, now into his 90s. Not, I don't think I have too much with him on the channel here, but there's some uh, wonderful uh, Lou Donaldson videos coming up. Uh, I've got a couple more tracks from the Stan Getz Montreux session. It was either 69 or 72, with Chick Corea, Stanley Clark, and Tony Williams. That's some really powerful content. Uh, really strong group. They really didn't work that much. I, I think they may have recorded once 
once or twice, but uh, they certainly worked very, very well together. Uh, more Mulgrew Miller coming up. Uh, also, I really enjoy, uh, I really love the new standards group that Herbie put together uh, in the late 90s with Michael Brecker, John Schofield, Dave Holland, Jack DeJeanette, and Don Elias. Some of that's coming up as well. Uh, uh, more from Rasan Roland Kirk, one of my early jazz heroes. I, uh, have, I've been drinking uh, this Italian sparkling mineral water from Costco. That It's better than seltzer. There's a Costco in Mexico, not far from where I'm moving to, in Leon. Uh, be interesting to see what, what American food I can get down there. I've been trying to, uh, you know, I had some heart issues last year, this year. And when was my surgery? Actually, my surgery was September 9th, 2021. I'm pretty much fully recovered, thank God. Amazing. Triple bypass, valve replacement. In good shape. Great doctor. Worked out quite well, but I still take some medication. Not sure how, how I'm going to get that in Mexico if they sell that. Some American medication they sell over the counter. Others, they have generic. I guess one thing i got to work out. Uh, I've got a great series coming up here. In fact, the first one's coming up this week. Well, a Freddie Hubbard concert from Germany. Jazz Festival in Germany. I think it was Berlin, 85, uh, with a great band. A pianist new to me, Mark Templeton. Ira Coleman on bass, and the great Carl Allen on drums, and sitting in, Dizzy Gillespie and Woody Shaw. That's coming up. We've got a bunch of that. Let's see, what else here? Uh, great set by Eddie Gomez, one of my favorite bassists. You probably, perhaps you know him from um, Bill Evans in the 60s, when he was just a kid, a young Puerto Rican man from the South Bronx. Or the Bronx, I'm not sure it was the South Bronx. Great bass player and uh, a trio session from that. And Milton Nascimento, uh, Benny Bailey, the great trumpeter, sitting in with uh, Roy Hargrove's big band. Uh, and then um, Lester Bowie's Brass Fantasy, a group with that, uh, unfortunately, he didn't get very much attention. Uh, Should have. I got a chance to hear them live, and I got a chance to uh, spend some time with Lester Bowie from the Art Ensemble of Chicago. We did a downbeat or a jazz times. Was it downbeat or jazz times? I can't remember. A blindfold test back in the mid-90s, I think it was. I have no idea how to access that. So that's what's coming up uh, in the next uh, four months here on the Jazz Video Guy channel. I'm going to be pretty busy uh, in my new home in Mexico, learning Spanish, which is a real challenge, good for the brain. Uh, harder to learn a, a language when you're older, but I'm going to do it for several reasons. One, because it's I, I got to speak it to, uh, to communicate, to have my life in a new country. Number one, number two, as you probably can tell from my many interviews and videos, and I don't know if you've seen my documentary films, or some of you may have even seen my plays. I'm a storyteller. I'm fascinated by people and their stories. So for me to really go and talk to uh, the people of Mexico, I need to speak Spanish. So I'm highly motivated to do this. And the next three or four months, I'm just going to really immerse myself, uh, some classes, uh, a lot of interaction, talking to people, watching uh, uh, Spanish movies with English subtitles or vice versa. Uh, just like three or four hours a day. Uh, I want to do this. It's going to be good for me, good for my brain, good for you to challenge your brain. Uh, I'm not someone who just wants to sit around and consume, obviously. Uh, I create. That's how I make my, my way through this life. Um, so I want to thank you for all your support for my work. Uh, if you'd like to help financially, there's three ways you can do it. You can send me a tip via PayPal. You can send me a contribution 
on GoFundMe, or you can get a monthly subscription. As I said, uh, in this interim period here, uh, which is going to last four months, I'll have uh, two to three videos a week and probably more. I always find things. Uh, it, there's a lot of jazz in Guanajuato and the surrounding area. I'll be documenting some of that and posting uh, some of that up here as well. Uh, probably talking to some musicians down there. Uh, it'd be interesting to get their perspective on jazz living in a, uh, the middle of Mexico in a very high uh, altitude. Um, so that's the update. I'll be back. I don't know when. I may be back in, uh, here live in a week or two. I, I'm going to play it by ear. But most certainly, I'm looking at them right now. There are many videos that, that I've you got coming up here on Jazz Video Guy that I'll help you enjoy. And once again, if you can help me, uh, even with a dollar, I mean, if everybody who watched this channel on a regular basis contributed one dollar once in a while, uh, that would really help me to do this work. Uh, it's largely a volunteer effort. A few years ago, I, I, I figured out, I make some, a little bit of money from YouTube for the ads that appear on the video. I try not to put them in the middle of the video. I hate that. Once in a while I forget. Somebody complains, but I fix it. Um, but when I figured, when I did a calculation about the number of hours that I put in doing this and the revenue that I got, it came to about $1.15 an hour. <laughs> so obviously this is not a lucrative thing. Uh, but it would be good to have some money to... Uh, increase the production value, spend more time at it. Uh, help it. Help me if you can. Most of you won't, I know, because this is a medium where people don't pay for things. I, I watch content, and I sometimes don't pay for it either. Uh, but I do buy things. I, do, I bought a fantastic uh, CD uh, last week, Jaco Pastorius, the birthday concert. You know, I've been doing this Brett Michael Brecker series, and I did... Uh, this is uh, an episode with Bob, a couple episodes with Bob Mincer. And Bob Mincer and Michael Brecker were the, sa the saxophone soloists in Jocko's first big band in the early 80s. And they recorded uh, a concert down there called The Birthday Concert at a club called Mr. Pips in Fort Lauderdale. A memorable for Michael Brecker because that was his last gig before he went into rehab and he turned his life around. But memorable musically because they sounded fucking dynamite. Mincer and, and Brecker together and his soloist, just incredible. I, you know, you don't remember, I don't I have I don't know. As we go through this life, we hear about stuff, we don't necessarily access everything. I think I heard about it, but when I got into doing this, these episodes, I said, I'm going to get this. I actually bought it. And uh, it's great. Uh, in, uh, perhaps more uh, videos coming about the ownership music streaming. I've done some stuff about that lately, the inequitude, the inequities. I can't deal with that right now. I'm about to move to Mexico. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, stay healthy, stay happy, love each other, listen to music, create, and... Uh, Try to, try to avoid, if possible, all the negativity which is going around right now. It can be difficult at times.